That's right. Uh huh. Yeah. Ah. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Check, family. Can you please stop physically and emotionally abusing your lady? Come on, fam. And I know I think you respect. I'm a man. Respect me. I'm a man. Respect me. Show me respect. But, bro, respect is a two-way street. You feel me? I know you've heard this before. Come on, fam. In order to get respect out of that queen, you got to pour respect inside of her. So stop physically and verbally abusing her. Come on. Come on, family. That's your queen. You're supposed to protect her. You're supposed to love her. You're supposed to do all those beautiful things for her because you're a trip if somebody else do it, right? So you charged with that responsibility of rubbing her back, rubbing her feet, massaging her brain, making her feel good, letting her know that she your queen. Not to verbally beat her down, bro, just for your own personal lower self-gratification. Just to stand on another human being. What's that, bro? That ain't love? You ain't operating out of love? Come on, bro. And the only reason she hanging around is because she's seen those good qualities in you before. She's seen them before. She know you got them. You know you got them. And you pull them out. I mean, you treat her like a queen in public. But when y'all come back to the house, bro, now we back on the childish games. Now we with the nonverbal communication. You walking past like she don't exist. Like she's nothing. You talking to her like she's nothing. You calling her everything but a child of God. Huh? Come on, bro. You can't tear your queen down like that then. At the end of the day, you gonna run and roll over, you know what I'm saying, and get some love. Where's she supposed to pull this love from? Where's she supposed to pull that from? You been beating her down all day. Now you ready now, now, now you ready to be on some lovey dubby type stuff. No, bro. No, bro, it don't work like that, man. Come on now, you gotta show love. You gotta show love, it gotta be mutual, bro. You gotta be mutual. You gotta get that love back. You know what I'm saying, bro? So some of that time you wasting out there, you know. I know, I know most of the time you out there handling the business, but let's keep it 100 though. Are you really all the time? Huh? So some of that time you using. Kicking with the homies, chasing females, whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing. Maybe if you reinvested some of that time back into the family, you know what I'm saying? Maybe things would get back on the right path. And if you don't want to do that, if you don't want to do that, you don't want to be a part of that, say that too. So she can make a decision on what she want to do with her life going forward, bro. But just don't hold nobody hostage. Because you want to go out here and play the field. And it's not her responsibility to help you keep your penis in your pants. That's your job, bro. That's your job. That's your job, bro. I don't want to hear nothing about, man, she don't do this, she don't do that. Then look deep before you leap. You should have made that decision a long time ago, bro. Remember one, two, three, when we first initially was talking, when you first met her, and you saw that, that big derriere, you saw that pretty face, you saw that nice chest, and you was talking about all other things, like, man, where we gonna go? Where we gonna hook up at? You like this and you like that? You should have been asking them real questions right there, getting the foundation. So sometimes we gotta backtrack because we started the relationship on the wrong foot. We started the relationship on some let's get up, let's connect, let's, let's hit, let's get together. And then along the way, along the way, it came into a, well, she all right. I, I, I guess we could work. I guess it could work. But see, you ain't build your house like the third little piggy yet. You ain't built that out of bricks. Your house made out of straw. It's made out of paper because you didn't see her as a queen initially. And now you can't hit that switch, bro, and turn her into a queen because you ain't operating like a king. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Your inner vaults. Your inner feelings, they may not tell on you today, but they're going to tell on you in the long run. Come on, bro. She don't need no roommate. She need a soulmate. She don't need no roommate, bro. She need a soulmate. And you already know who it is. Uh-huh. It's our thin national speaker, D. Cook. Let's get it.